Peace, everyone. So a lot of people had questions or comments about cleavers, them actually finding cleavers in their yard or around town and stuff like that. I even had someone uh, gift me some cleavers, which is a very lovely. So this is uh, part of my harvest here. And I would like to show you guys what to do with cleavers because a lot of people had questions. I'm like, okay, I picked it now. <laughs> what do I do with it? So this, uh, first of all, I just want you guys to see that depth. Like, look at that color and it smells. I really wish that you could smell it. It just smells so, so deep and like rich. This is what your herbs should look like, guys. Like, oh, so beautiful. So anyways, these are washed. Um, I actually dried them before I washed them. Typically, I do the other way around. I just, I let it dry out too quick. So um, they were dried and then I gave them a good wash. And so what you can do to form this lovely look at the chlorophyll in there first of all look at that okay this is real chlorophyll not not that fake concentrated chlorophyll that y'all buy from the store that everyone thinks is just so amazing no shade i mean i used to use it too before i knew better but you guys don't even know where they're accessing assessing that um or extracting that chlorophyll from this is true chlorophyll. And actually, I'm about to go ahead and tell you about a new product I'm about to put out really quick while I have these herbs out. So I'm going to be formulating a um, a compound, a chlorophyll, an encapsulated chlorophyll compound. It's going to have one cleavers because look at this deep, rich color, right? And then we're going to have moringa. Moringa is great for energy. Um, it's great for your overall health, overall nourishment, it has B vitamins, right, and iron as well. Um, alfalfa, alfalfa is, ri is rich in vitamin K. It's also kind of known as like the king of, uh, the king of herbs um, because it's so nutrient rich and this is a great um, herb for natural occur occurring chlorophyll. And then we're gonna have some stinging nettle so stinging nettle is great for iron. And if you just look at how, you know, you can see how rich this is. Really, Just see how deep, deep that color is, you know. Let's see if it'll focus. You see how deep that, that color is? It's just so beautiful, honestly. I, and I love the smell. I mean, honestly, all three herbs are, they have their own, you know, they have their own makeup, their own agenda. They all smell so lovely. I mean, with my eyes closed, I could be able to tell all all four of these things apart honestly so that's what the um that's what the encapsulated chlorophyll is going to consist of it's going to be on my website if you're watching this video and you get the encapsulated chlor chlorophyll um i will take 15 percent off if you use the code youtube okay use the code youtube you get 15 percent off on the encapsulated chlorophyll so it's going to contain the stinging nettle um what i'm going to do is i'm going to powder these is the stinging nettle, the alfalfa, the moringa, as well as cleavers. So cleavers is going to act as our chlorophyll, but also, I wish you would focus. Uh, it's also going to act as our lymphatic cleanser. Okay, so really quick, let me tell you guys how you can utilize this at home. Right, so you pick it from the yard, make sure you rinse it, wash it off good. I generally will give it about maybe three good rinses. Okay, um... And so then what I do is I measure about half an ounce. So you will need a kitchen scale or you can just, you know, eyeball it. But um, I measure about half an ounce of the cleavers and then uh, I put it in a blender. Now you want to do like a small blender like this, right? Like one that's really going to like grind it up. I find that when I use a small blender, it's better versus like the big one. So I put that in there with 16 ounces of water and I blend it up. Okay, now... You know, if you want, you can chop it up. Really me, I don't really care. But, you know, the long strands might kind of get caught up in your blade. So you might have to like stop what you're doing and take it out, whatever. Blend up good, right? And then you're gonna strain it. You're gonna strain it with a strainer just like so. Or you can get a nut milk bag, cheesecloth, whatever. And then it's gonna produce this beauty. This beautiful, mm. and, it, and, and, and it tastes good. It tastes really good. I just took a sip. It it tastes like I don't know. I'm gonna have to like type here what I, what it tastes like because I I can't put my hand on what it kind of tastes like, but you know it's it's not a bad taste, right? 
And actually, I think it would taste pretty delicious if it was cold and maybe paired with a little bit of like key lime or something like that. Anyways, so our goal is to use the entire plant, right? So, okay, we got our, we got our, uh, you know, our, uh, our water, our cleaver's water out of there, basically cleaver's juice, I guess, if you want to call it. This is basically juicing. I didn't want to put it through the juicer because I was scared I was going to lose too much of, um, I just felt like the juicer wasn't going to do good. I felt like it was going to be just fine if I just blend it and then strain it. Plus, I was super simple then for like getting my juicer out, putting it all together, whatever. So, um, so yeah, so we got our clearest juice, right? And then we have this leftover pulp. So with this leftover pulp, I'm actually going to dehydrate this. I'm going to dehydrate this. I want to, you know, spread it out. I'm going to dehydrate it in my dehydrator, low and slow. And it's going to turn, it's going to dry out, of course, and it's going to be a powder. This powder is going to be used for two things. This powder is going to be used for you guys' encapsulated chlorophyll, which is going to be, um you know, uh, encapsulated with, you know, our moringa, our alfalfa, and our stinging nettle, right? But also, the extra, because I, I, I harvested a lot of cleavers, okay? The extra, um, I'm actually going to make a lymphatic, uh, a lymphatic um, salve. Now, this salve can be used to just stimulate the uh, lymphatic system. It can be used for overall healing of the skin, nourishment of the skin, but um also and you can even use it in your scalp actually but also it can be used for cellulite okay so this um you know once it turns to powder i'm going to make it into this into a salve with some other compounds some other um you know make a nice little compound to get it into a salve with some other herbs and stuff like that for your lymphatic salve right and um yeah so you know we're just we're just doing it big we've got our like i said our cleavers juice our lymphatic um our lymphatic uh salve and our encapsulated chlorophyll so that's how we're going to utilize cleavers thank you so much cleavers for popping up in my yard and popping up all over everyone else's yard that has watched that last video and was able to benefit from it we love you very much remember um you know the benefits of cleavers it's really good for the lymphatic system overall it has great nourish nourishments uh nourishing properties sorry um it's a very uh cleansing herb right we want to really get like blood flow good circulation through the body we want to keep our lymphatic system clean because that's what protects us from certain cancers certain viruses or sorry infections Right. Sometimes, you know, guys notice when you get a fever, when you get sick, you might feel those lymph nodes getting uh, uh, swollen, like underneath your neck and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, we, we definitely want to keep that clear. We want to we want to have healthy flow all over the body so that our body is clear, open and healthy. So anyways, thanks guys so much for watching this video. Like I said, use the code for the discount on the encapsulated chlorophyll. I'm super excited about that. I really want you guys to stop buying that one that you, we don't even know where they're extracting the chlorophyll from, um, you know, in, in, that, in, that, in, that, in that very concentrated one. And this is just straight from the source, right? Straight up herbs, all right? Um, we also got some neem, some neem tincture going right there. That's what this one is. So this this baby still has about four more weeks left. I'll get some more of that on the website. So anyways, peace guys. Thanks for watching.